Hello everybody, welcome back. We are playing some Kaelin Ezreal Tribeam today. Uh, I played this deck a little bit at the start of the season, messing around with new, some of the new cards. And so pretty much I've only left it down to one of the new cards at the moment, but I've been on a pretty good run with it at the moment. And from what I can tell, it has some pretty decent numbers currently. Um, specifically against Azir Aurelia. I've been having a really good time with it. On Mastering Your Terror, it says it has a 73% win rate against Azir Aurelia. So that's really strong. It struggles against some of the Alawi decks, like Bartolawi, it only has a 44% win rate. But that's a winnable, right? Like, that's not done and over with, especially when it's, like, the top meta deck. So we'll test it, see how it goes. Obviously, sometimes there's, like, the, the Scorchers and stuff that can help you deal with the Lowey. And Aloof Travelers is pretty good. So we'll see how it goes. Sometimes you can just, like, finish them off with a burn finish. And I've been having some fun with it and some good results. So I haven't been super, super hardcore grinding, climbing. And it's a super short season this year, or this season. So if I wanted to get to Masters or anything or qualify for Seasonals for the first time, i got to get my groove on. So... Figured I'd play a deck I like a lot. It's been performing pretty alright. Overall, the deck archetype has an okay win rate, but it especially beats stuff like Katarina Yasso and Zirelia. But it also loses to the bar decks and Action Kaisa, so it's an interesting little spot. We'll see how it goes. Um, pretty standard deck list here, other than uh, one copy of Scavenge Camel Clicker. I was running two of these at the season start, but just dropped it down to one because I think it's a really fun card and it can help win some games by sometimes pushing some sneaky elusive damage, right? Kind of like ambush used to do with the victor decks and also just getting some card drive you can keep your units alive for a little bit so let's get into it i've had caitlin carry me in several of the games against azir Aurelia because she can get like up to three blocks and she also gets her attacks in when the opponent doesn't really want to block her so sometimes like you know by turn six seven there are like a ton of traps in their deck and then every time they play their you know two one elusive they're one one elusive it just gets blown up by the traps so we'll see how it goes Boom! Okay, perfect. I love testing it against the Zerelia in the opening match. Awesome, awesome. Uh, obviously, even if we don't win, you'll probably get a good idea of how it works out. This is a really, really good start. But do we keep the flock? I don't think we need to, honestly. I'd rather look for a house spider. But Peacemaker into Caitlyn's pretty alright. Um, you'd, you'd prefer a Mystic Shot, usually because it's just one minute cheaper. Okay, house spider's perfect. I've barely ever gotten house spider in these matchups, and it's like the most important card in the early game blocking. Um, especially like sparring student where he gets so huge sometimes. Like I don't I don't know if we're really worried here. Um, but I think we should kill it while we can. No we won't, we won't, because we can we can drop House Fighter here. One damage really isn't that threatening to us. Cause there's gonna be another time when we open with initiative. And I do want to just play Caitlyn here. Okay. So we're kind of just running into a pump spell here, but I doubt they'll use it. They could call our bluff though, quote unquote our bluff, because we don't have any pumps or any like mystic shot, but okay, that's kinda of whatever. It is not great, but then I run a ton of pump spells. I think we're just gonna kill domination here. We really need a flash bomb to hit this elusive, that's really annoying actually. If, like, they play their Aurelia or their Zero on Elusive. So, yeah, that was kind of a punt. I probably should have attacked with Caitlyn there, but it is what it is. Dang, that sucks. Okay. And I think we're just going to shoot this before it gets too big. The Flaws Duet will make it too big. And we definitely need to hit this Aurelia with a Homecoming soon. We can just take this damage here. I usually prefer to block the same soldiers, obviously, because they just pump out a little bit more extra damage. And we can stop really at the moment. I don't really want to use Tribeam yet. I feel like we really need to get this to a bigger number. I think we go Station Archivist here. We need to find a way to damage her. Okay, that works. That works. We're not going to be attacking for a while, I don't think. We do know we have another Mystic Shot coming up, which is really nice. Still four Flash Bombs in their deck isn't the worst thing in the world, especially if we can make them draw. Interesting. I'm surprised they didn't kill the Sand Soldier. Why not, right? Oh well. That's fine for us. It makes them use an Man Gem. Which is actually pretty important. 
Let's go. Okay, that's really difficult for us to deal with. I don't want to have to use a Scorch Earth because that makes us do stuff like... Um... Recall. Or, uh, like, a, a deny, they get a deny up and stuff. Recall their own unit, whatever it is. Uh, we'll just play our Caitlyn here. And we will play Ezreal if we have the chance. Maybe not, maybe. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we kind of misplayed that really early on the early game, but... I think they gave up way too early. Maybe they just didn't have a good hand. But that's like four wins in a row I have off of Zero Elia. It's a really good matchup. Even if you make misplays like that, there's like a pretty good chance you can just come out on top because... It's very, very difficult for them to defend their stuff most of the time. Not that they don't have ways to defend their stuff, but you just have so much... So many spells and flash bombs especially have been like huge in that matchup. And it's, yeah, okay, this one's... This one's interesting. You have ways to kill... Annie early, but... They can usually outgrind you once their pink spells just start doing more damage and stuff. Because they're not necessarily a, a deck that needs to be on board either. And they can kill your champions if you try to go aggressive. Pelt over Peacemaker is really nice. I love this spell. I know it's not like the best in the world. But I'm quite a fan. Do flash bumps just make it so nice in Caitlyn decks. And obviously in Tri Beam, 3 mana cost is nice, but I don't know, it feels good. I like it. Mystic Shot, Pelt over Peacemaker, just efficient, good ol' removal. Um, I think we'll play... Will we play House better here? What if we pass? If we pass, they just open. Then we can play... Or if we play this, we can just... Hmm. We can only play Caitlyn next turn. We'll pass. We'll see what they do. If they want to open attack with Annie, we're not taking much damage. Oh, interesting. Okay, well at least we know that they can't kill our Caitlyn this turn. We'll get at least one open attack off. Maybe we'll just take the two from the Tentacle. I am very tempted to aloof this turn. But what would it even hit? Because they don't really get too many threats in their hand. Usually it's just kind of like, I have Nagakaburus, right? Until, what, they get like the Tibbers or the Tibalkan hand? Oh, heck yeah. We'll just jam in here now. Caitlyn's so good. That's so fun. Uh, they'll play something and then we just aloof, I think. We don't necessarily need to get House Spiders on the board quite yet. Ooh, okay. I think we're okay with that. Nice, got rid of some draw. We kind of want to keep their TF alive so they can't play another red card. That'd be kind of annoying. We'll keep up some mana. I don't want to drop another house better. I want to be able to Mystic Shot something. Oh, that's not good. Um... Sure. Hmm. If they have a Blade's Edge, if we try to block with the Loof Travelers and they have a Blade's Edge, that'd be really annoying. So I think we just shoot Annie. We're gonna take one damage from the Fearsome dude, but that's fine. Do we ever block Twisted Fate? Does it save two damage? Okay, he doesn't even offer it. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, we'll have seven mana this turn? Okay, so we can probably... Nice. Okay, I wanna hunt for a Static Shock, actually. Whoa! Ho <laughs> ho, not bad. Okay. I don't even know if that's the best card there, but it looks real nice at this moment. Get some card drop, get our Ezreal closer to leveling up. 
keep their board a little bit then. Uh, we have Scorched Earth for if they... Nice. Flash Bombs, man, they're bonkers. Okay, we could jam and attack here. Is that ever worth it, though? What, we, what, we give them access to another Twisted Fate? I think we're okay, though. We have another House Fighter in hand. We'll just jam it. We need to start doing some ping damage. Maybe offer a Twisted Fate trade, because he's going to level up at some point. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So I guess we do need to kill him soon, huh? I think he's going to level before we get a chance to kill him. We don't really have any easy kill spells, do we? I think we have to use Tribune if we're going to kill him. Because we only have a Static Shot coming up, right? Ooh, this isn't good. Now this game's heating up. I never pay enough Twitch attention to Twisted Fate in this matchup. Yeah, like Static Shock into Scorched Earth does not seem like the play. Is it though? Maybe. I really don't want to use Tribeam yet. I think we need to get that up to like at least 6 if we're going to win this. And we're just drawing closer to our flock and stuff. Unfortunately, it gives them access to another Twisted Fate play, but yeah, okay, that's tough. Me and Stabilize next turn. We'll have a Station Archivist and a House Fighter. Do we have anything else coming up though on Archivist? I don't know if we do or not. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay. Getting very low on health here. Oh, baby. Not good. And they just keep drawing. Okay. Woof. That was not a good turn for us. I definitely don't know- I probably should have just shot Trident in there, huh? Would have left up two mana so we could fight our own House Fighter. Dang, that's probably a bad play. Okay, can we get our own Twisted Fate red card here with Tibalk buff, maybe? It's actually... not awful. We'll just start with our House Fighter. If we play like another leveled up TF, we can try to try being him. It's Mr. Hmm. It's I really don't want to play into another Twisted Fate. I think we just lose if we pass though, right? Maybe we'll hit something with Life Link. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think Twisted Fate or playing Ezreal wins there. Oh, that doesn't smell good. I <laughs> think that's such a funny voice line. I don't like Annie too much in League of Legends. I've only ever played her in Aram, but she seems funny in League. Alright, and then Lore. Fearsome. That's actually a pretty decent chunk of damage. If I don't have a Fearsome blocker. And they had to use a Disintegrate in this House Spider. Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. So how can we get out of this? We'll have one fearsome blocker. Tibbers is gonna stun something, maybe? Aloof doesn't do it, I don't think. Probably just Station Archivist. Okay. Two damage. That doesn't look good. <laughs> um, can we finish them off next turn? Probably not. Disintegrate. Okay. Again, not the end of the world, but not great. I think we just try being here. Or what if we what if we loof first? Maybe we can get rid of their Tibbers? Mystic shot's not bad. <gasps> Rip tide backs! Woof! Okay, 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 okay. We're in it, we're in it. Should we play Ezreal here? I feel like we need to. We need to be really mana efficient from this point onwards. If they have another Disintegrate, or a Flock, I suppose, they'd have to have just Flock as the only way to kill Ezreal here until next turn. I think we can get in there next turn. If we play Captain Farron, maybe 
Maybe we just go Archivist into a spell or two and try beam. Hmm. Do we ever open? Because I don't have any fast speed stuns, right? We'd have five extra mana though if we do this. But they just drew three cards and they have a stun. So I feel like we need to get in there. That'll be an extra two damage to the Nexus. I guess three if we target the Nexus itself. We'll go for it. They could have like a disintegrate combo. Okay. Good, good. What if I play Mystic Shot first? It'll bait them into thinking they're safe. Do we just go for the straight burn? No, I think we need to keep we need to keep the board clear, because we're taking too much damage on the attack next turn. Oh baby. Static. Oh, Peacemaker's not bad. Um do we ever go Peacemaker just to try to hit? No, because Peacemaker won't do anything because we know we don't have a Scorched Earth coming up. But we do have a Flock. We have 6 burn damage in hand. How much mana do we have to this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can go Peacemaker into Tribeam. And there'll be enough to kill either unit. Okay. Okay. We're not dead yet. They could have, like, Blade's Edge at this point once they play Tybalk. Interesting. Okay. So we can just kill Tybalk with the Tribeam. So we'll kill the Fearsome Dude. Eek! Eek, eek, eek! That's not looking hot. Okay. This puts him to 7. Please, we need someone big. This is actually going to be really bad to stun. Uh, it's pretty big. That's actually kind of funny in this matchup, but might be a little bit too late here. Holy smokes, did we get there? If I develop, maybe. Oh my gosh, hold on. This is 1 damage. 3 damage. Hold on, this is six, 4 mana, we'll go down to 6. 3, 4, 5, 6, I think we got there. I think we got there, I think we got there. Unless this is a Make It Rain or Blade's Edge. Holy smokes, did we get there? Oh, that doesn't count? Uh-oh. We still have this at first speed to deal four, right? Ooh, baby, let's go! What a game! That was tight! Oh my goodness. That felt so good. Ezreal, you're too confident. Wow, that was so good. Okay, okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. I don't know. I, I still don't know if that was right to kill that Twisted Fate when we did, the way we did. That really put us under the gun with the Annie into House Spider combo there. That was tough. But man, we got there. That was really good. Okay. Oh, at Yasuo Academy. This is another really good matchup. We have Scorched Earth for stuff like the Hellock. It's fun. Aloofs! An interesting keep. But I've bumped this up to three copies, so I think we can ship it back for now. We'll keep one Mystic Shot to kill Katarina. And otherwise, look for, like... I'll, I always look for Caitlyn. Tribeam's very good. I don't really tend to care about Ezreal too much until later in the game when he's near leveled. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Okay. Uh... 
We could shoot her. I don't think we care yet. We'll just play our house fighters. Get aggressive. Because if they have to block with our house fighter, if, if they have to block like the Fey Blade Twirler for our house fighters, we're feeling pretty good. And we keep up just enough to shoot Katarina. If they decide to develop a post attack. Because this is a pretty good chunk of damage. We're basically just playing Spider Aggro deck out here, you know. You know, I've actually seen some people in, um, Annie TF or Katarina TF, those decks, switch out House Spider for Mirai Warden because Mirai Warden it doesn't always spawn a 1 1, right? Like, sometimes it has a chance to. Oh, interesting. I think we just passed it. We don't particularly care. We don't need the damage. We'd rather keep the blockers because Yasuo's going to start stunning all our stuff and killing it. So, well, let's take that. Because if we attack right there, we only push 2 damage, so we don't really care. Uh, Stun Flock would be really nice for Katarina, but... Wow! That's bad for them, I think. That kind of gives us... Really? Do we do anything here? Maybe we'll just take that pass. We burn a little bit of mana, but... We get to push some damage. Because if this deck needs to, we can pretty much become a burn deck, especially with Captain Farron in hand. There's no way they use like a concussive pump here, right? Really? For two damage? That seems so outlandish. We can pretty much play anything here. Ooh, that's kind of funny. Is that the play? Maybe. I think this is better. It counts as a tri beam thing and it doesn't use up all of our mana. Like with five mana tri beam. We don't really want to do that. We want to make sure we keep mana for Kit, Katarina and stuff next turn. So, it's a blocker. It's fine. I think that's okay. And we get like an extra copy of it since it's something that we don't have in the deck. The forest strikes. Uh, I think we will the offer the block like so. So they have to either use a deny and still lose it or... Okay, that's fine. Um... It doesn't get recalled. So that's good at least. Stops the Yasuo level up. And it's damaged, so if we ever find like a Caitlyn. Hmm. I don't feel like we're doing much at the moment. We really need to find some juice. I think like Caitlyn's pretty much like the engine of the deck. Kind of just puts so much pressure. Uh, we'll just shoot this one. Stop it, sorry, I don't know why my dogs are barking. I think someone just either came in or left the house. I wasn't paying attention, I was kind of wrapped up in the game that I was like, totally not paying attention if I should meet the microphone or anything. We'll just attack. Interesting. I don't really want to play Yasuo, or Ezreal, because he can get stunned and killed by Yasuo kind of easily. No Scorched Earth either is really annoying. Can we do anything here? Like, do we ever play Ezreal? I guess it's a tri-beam trigger, so we can kill Yasuo next turn, hopefully. Really? Okay. It seems like it's easier to just... ...kill him next turn once you play Yasuo. Rather than using a... ...one of your stuns Fox here, but... ...I suppose it makes sense. Maybe it was a bad play by me. No That's why I don't really like to play Yasuo, or Ezreal too early, I suppose. Very annoying we don't have our Scorched Earth. Flux good. Suck. Let's go, Fang. Do we ever just slam Captain Farron here? That seems like a pretty bad play, too. They'll play Yasuo. The next turn we can just open attack again. If they have a sun or whatever, we can still kill Yasuo afterwards. 
Because we need the burn damage, I think, at this point. I don't know if we're really pushing too much damage against the Yasuo on the ground. It's certainly an interesting play, though. We just don't have enough going on in our hand, right? I'd rather force them to react to this while we try to find a, some stuff to do. Like, I really want to find another Station Archivist. We have two in deck still. Even, like, an Aloof wouldn't be all that bad, I don't think. Whoa, okay. I don't mind it. Oh my gosh, that guy's huge. How much mana will we have next turn? 9, 10, 11, 12? So we can go stun here. I'm ready for this? Wait, 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 wait. That's juice if I've ever seen it. He's probably gonna get stunned, but it's super funny. And it make, makes him use the stun while Yasuo is not on the ground yet. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I think we just win. They have to have double deny. That's actually so hilarious. I can't believe- See, they used the concussive palm on our 2-2 spider earlier. Like, that's so funny. Deny? Okay, there's one. Oh, dang. I think we get an extra fearsome block right here. Doing this is the same as stun flocking, or um, as um, thermal beaming, and then flocking next turn. This, this way we keep thermal beam in hand and get an extra fearsome blocker. I don't want a Mystic Shot. The yes, well, but... We still have two Mystic Shots in the deck. Uh, second Caitlyn's actually not bad. Yeah, this is fine though. We'll just... Oh, dang. Oh, that's... that's right. Okay. So what if we are, um, have to do this? Oh my. That's kind of annoying, isn't it? Wow, okay. So I guess we have to hope for something that can block. Man, we don't have a second block or a second mystic, that's really annoying. That's so dumb. All our stuff's slow speed. Even like a static shock would do it here. Man, we should have won that game, that's unfortunate. I wasn't expecting the 13-13 Legion General with Overwhelm in that matchup, that's for sure. Unfortunate, maybe we should have saved the stun splitter. I didn't really play around that rally, I guess. Unfortunate. You live on your own. I just, I didn't think they'd, we'd get a chance to play stun splitter next turn, right? I didn't think about the rally. I don't even remember now if they had rally before they started their turn. Or I guess they would have had to. Well, no, no. They started the turn w after we'd played the sentry, then they played the rally pits, right? We would have saved it otherwise. Okay. Just Kaisa. Um, do we ever keep a Mystic Shot? I don't think so. We'll just ditch everything here. Not a fantastic hand. You really want Chai Beam, obviously, in your opener. And I always just think Kaylin's a really good card. I'm so excited. I have a booster box for Kaldheim. It's one of my favorite tests in standard at the moment. Obviously, it's rotating out, but hopefully, I get to do some draft stuff with that soon. Farron's just a one-up at the moment, but he seems to always pop up. Man, I really thought maybe we shouldn't have used decimate last turn. Or in last game, we should have just passed. Because I had Deny up, right? So they're always going to be able to do it to use something like Deny a Stun, Deny your Kill on Yasuo, whatever it is. Do 
Do we get anything from passing here? I don't really think we can do much, though. Our hand just isn't fantastic. Nice to again, Station Archivist. Look for, like, a Pilter or Peacemaker. Perfect. Okay. I was born in I cannot leave. Yeah, we'll just take a Mystic Shot here. Or no, we'll, go, we'll, we'll take Static to pop a Spell Shield for free. This way they can't trade with our Station Archivist with the Broadwing. Caitlyn, there we go. I'd be surprised to see how they attack here. Perfect. Okay. So we can play Caitlyn and still have Mystic Shot up. Oof, my posture has been nasty. I've been leaning super close to my screen these past few games. Could they kill us here? I guess like a sharp sight, single combat. But it wouldn't work for the Broadwing, because Quick Attack would drop its health too low. So they'd have the single combat beforehand. They'd have to like commit sharp sight, single combat, but then we could just Mystic Shot, so I think we're safe here. Well, let's jump in there. I don't think we really need to shoot anything yet. We'll just pass. If I can Dang. Life, I must. Um, yeah, again, we can kind of just react next turn. Maybe we don't even have to if we hit a lucky flash bomb. I'd really like to ping off these one health units with the flash bombs, so... There's an argument for, like, Mystic shutting this, I suppose. Make it much more likely to hit something here. Uh, uh, I think we do shoot that. We're really, really far ahead on cards now. And we still have, like, a lot of card draw in hand, right? They do have a present variant popping, so... I can assume I don't have... Okay, that's good. Can't kill her. Caitlyn. Oh, baby. Let's go. Uh, Static Shot can finish that off now, so we can... Like, kill Belath the Elder, Elder in this Broadway if we want. Maybe pop a Spell Shield. But I assume that I either have a Kais in hand and just want to supercharge. Dang, those guys are huge now, aren't they? We still want to pass. Okay, now we need to do something. Hmm. Dang. Do we hunt for something? What would we hunt for? Like a flock? If we hit flock, we still have a mystic shut up. We'll go for it. Oh, that's brutal. Okay. Well, we get a free, a free Piltover Peacemaker, essentially, but... Still no chiving, we know we don't have like any other spells coming up, that's kind of unfortunate. Interesting. We're taking a ton of damage here. I think we'll leave our Caitlyn back. Oh really? What is that for? That's your plan. It doesn't add up. So we're kind of tapping out of mana here. We can do this to keep our spiderling alive. We can kill this guy later. I don't think we need to kill him right now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, sorry, someone just came in. We could buff that we have the flock if we attack here. Oh, wow. Interesting. Um, I think we just Scorch Earth here. We have initiative. So we can Scorch Earth and get a nice attack in. Again, they're running kind of low on cards. But we know they probably have stuff like... Caitlyn... Or, sorry, um, Kaisa and the... Void Abomination, which are kind of difficult for us to deal with. Obviously, most decks struggle to deal with them, but... Maybe that's an argument to keep your Scorched Earth when you know you don't have too many other spells coming up from the... Ah, oh, dang, okay. Well, now we're kind of out of mana. We'll still attack. We need to get this guy weak. 
Because now he's in flock range if we happen to adjust something soon. Or if a flash bomb hits him and then we play a spell. Yeah, this is looking tough. Captain Farron really bad in this matchup. Void Abomination is just literally better. Because if you get like Challenger and stuff on your Void Abomination, it could just pick off our other units. It doesn't even have to interact with Farron. So he's pretty much just burn at this point. Maybe we can get an overwhelm attack at some point. Yeah, this looks tough. Price's voice lines are lame. I feel like she could have been so cool, but I think I think the voice is kind of funny, right? Like everybody talks about that, but like I think the voice lines themselves are just kind of lame. Ah, oh, dang, that sucks. We're definitely gonna have to block here, unfortunately. I don't even know if Kais is going to. Or Caitlyn's gonna be able to get a block off. I think we just lose. Yeah, that's kind of stinks. Um. Okay, as long as they don't have a. Red negation again. Oof, okay. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Nine, ten, eleven mana next turn. Or we just go to nine mana. Uh, they gotta have a rally. That actually sucked really bad. I think we just lose if they have a rally. Okay, thank goodness. Um, so what do we do? What does Ezreal do next turn? I don't even know if I want to avoid or, um, open with a loof. Maybe we get rid of a rally if we do it this way. And we need to find our Scorchers and Flocks really soon. Well, that's something. Oh man. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I don't know. I don't know. It's getting tough. It's gonna be close. We just don't have enough mana to do everything we need. Cataclysm getting is really that's really nice. Wasn't it wasn't that a three mana card? Hold on a second. Yeah, so their their hands are really, really cheap. Um we got the elder, we don't care about that. Do we play around Sharp Sight if we get in with Ezreal? Or do we just go for another aloof? Ah, Jeepers, how do we kill uh, uh Kaisa? Well we know they don't have right negation, right? But they have overwhelm. What if we just swing in with Caitlyn first? That's a decent chunk of damage. Really? Hmm. Uh-oh. That was probably bad. Uh-oh. I was hoping we discarded Kaisa. They know they don't have a rally, at least. Unfortunate. We need to kill Kaisa, 100%. So I think we need to... Hit her with a spell shield. Or with a chat bomb, unfortunately. We're looking like that's our only out at the moment. Cause I think they can first give her the... Oh my gosh, you're insane. Whoa! That's insane, that's insane, that's insane. And the second Kaisa just wins though, right? They just play Kaisa and we can't kill her fast enough? I guess we could stun her. If they play Kaisa, we can stun her. Oh, that's brutal. Dang. Ah, oh, that sucks. They can do it beforehand, like... She doesn't need a battlefield. Man, Kais is so obnoxious. Uh, if we go three... Mana here. Do we just have to stun the other Overwhelm? Like this.
I don't think we're dead yet. Regen, sure. Okay, I'd really like to find the elusive for our Captain Farron. Um, we can kill this thing, right? And this thing, and this. And we're alive. If they have a rally, I don't think they do. I think we discarded enough stuff that they can't have a rally in hand. What could they have here? Like a single combat to get three extra damage? I don't know. This is fine, this is fine. We'll just start with House Fighter. I don't think they can have a rally. Now I have to play as real. So what can we do next turn? Does Farron do anything? If we hit the elusive, the ones of Scavenge Camel Cloaker. Oh baby, that's something. Oh my gosh, that's something. I think we're there. This is 4 damage in hand. Hmm. We should be able to kill. We should be able to kill Kaisa. Wait, this is 3 damage directly to face, right? And if there's right of negation here, we can pretty much assume. Oh baby, oh baby, I think we got there, I think I got there. Let's go! Woo! This deck's so good! Holy smokes. I love it! Or these not tight wins. This is so hard to beat too. Alright, let's do one more and then I'm gonna have to head out for a bit, I think. But we're definitely climbing. We're gonna finish at least a game positive. Maybe we can finish 4 out of 5, would be really good. Bartolaui, yes, the ultimate test. Okay, we faced a lot of the meta decks. This is like really, really good for what I wanted to try today. My master retire tracker, or master tracker keeps popping up and it's like in the middle of the screen super awkwardly. I keep moving it around weirdly. Scorched Earth, pretty good. Is it a keep? Probably. Probably not. I really want to dig for Flock. It's so much more mana efficient. And we need Tri Beam as well. I don't think this is a good matchup. I've played it several times and it's really tough. Because their stuff just gets so big, you like can only kill their stuff with Scorchers, pretty much. Even like this, we just- I don't even think we're allowed to interact with this bird really, right? Like, using a Thermal Beam on bird is just not good. Not good whatsoever. They just get their Chimes so much faster than our Traps can ever kill anything, which is also a huge way to beat board-based decks. So yeah, this one's this one's tough. Ah, oh, jeepers! Like I think we just have to shoot Esmus. This stuff's just gonna get so big if we don't kill Esmus. It's so annoying. But like now we lose if they have a Sea's voice. But if we didn't, we'd have to cast like a six mana Sea's voice this turn, or six mana Thermo on a Sea's voice. Do we just save ourselves the damage? Probably. Again, I don't know if that's the right play or not. But we need to be really, really wary of our health because the Alawi overwhelm damage can just be so much. Hmm, okay. We're still fine at the moment. Probably not soon though. We could get something elusive. That's okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, like that's just absurd. The bar decks are so obnoxious. Um, I want to put this on stack just so I can see the eye to get rid of that card. Okay, okay. Um. 
We can go Archivist first. Um, we'll go Thermo. Are we happy with this pass? No. We'll kill the... We'll kill the Tentacle. And this is a nice way to like level up Ezreal. I want to save the mana. It's fine. We'll draw the Thermo soon enough. Yeah. No SMS, please. No SMS. No SMS. Or no buffed up SMS. No tentacle smash. Wow, how do we play around anything in this deck? Riptide Sermon kills us? Like, I don't know how to beat this deck. Uh, it's kind of tough. Yeah, that, that was silly. Um, okay. We could stun. That doesn't do much. Gives us a Mystic Shot, I suppose. That's kind of silly. We're throwing this game. I don't know. We can't beat anything. Everything's so huge and efficient for them. Yeah, like, we just... Can I do too much, unfortunately? No flocks, pretty annoying. I think I threw several times already this game. I focused on the wrong targets, but I don't even know what to focus on, because, like, if we just kept taking too much poke damage early on, I don't know. We'll see. We don't even have a tribe charging up in hand. Like, that's really, really bad. Get bloody, hmm. get Do you risk another hard gun? If they play another action, though, we can kill Zap. Gosh darn it, what the heck. Um, okay. If we Thermo Beam this, they have to decide between killing our Ezreal or our Caitlyn. So let's do that. I don't know, it seems kind of silly. We're desperate at this point. Wait, they're playing the list. Gosh darn it, thing's huge. They're playing the list and even warned. I don't know if I've seen that too often. That's kind of funny. Everything's damaged at least. <laughs> Do you feel her presence? Do you hear her voice? How do we ever beat this? Like we desperately need Chinese soon. because they can outdraw us. They have stuff like I have Naga Kobrus. Uh. The Fortune Croaker. Like, yeah, we're, we're, our hand is just kind of dead at this point. Unfortunate. What do we do? Does playing Ezreal do anything? Not really. We'll hold out hope for a board wipe. <laughs> Probably not gonna happen. We'll see how it goes. Hmm. Don't know if we can do much here. I think we're kind of just dead. I don't like this. Part of always sucks. We're gonna play another game. Okay, we're gonna end on a high note by st absolutely stomping our Zero Relia. I'm calling it. Game? Audio? Okay, okay. It sounded bad for me. Thralls! That's another really bad matchup for us. Um, how do we win then? Scorch Earth is an interesting keep. Definitely keeping Caitlyn and then pitch the others. Scorch Earth never really does much in these matchups anymore because they just go wide instead of focusing on 
one one thrall. Cause I don't even really play uh the four beta countdown, right? I will shoot their harbinger. I can play Sandra next turn, that's kind of annoying. Uh, we'll just, we'll just play Caitlyn here. We'll get any attack if we can. Do we attack even if I have Lissandra? Probably not. We can just Thermal Beam her next turn. Because our Scorcher is pretty, pretty relevant already. House better doesn't do great. Uh... How much does the... I can't even think of his name. The Dracula and Inquisitor. How much health does he have? Yeah, this is so bad when they have like three thralls. You just can't really do too much about that. I really would actually like to see our Scavenge Camo Cloaker in this matchup. Aloof Travelers could be really good. Okay, there's our tri -beam. Do we ever develop here? Maybe. It makes it very difficult for us to kill the Jackal Inquisitor. The we'll just jam in there. If they take any damage, we can use our Scorched Earth. I hope he gets greedy. Okay, that's fine. Sure. So, do we just take that one thrall? Oh dang, that sucks. Um. Okay, okay. I'm looking tough. Hard to interact with any here. Yeah, man, thralls are so dumb. I feel like they're always ducks that are annoying to play against, right? But like. This is just such a bad matchup. How can we kill? We can go three. Uh, we can just go static, static. And Scorched Earth. Leave him with only one thrall. We can, we can search for Flock, but I feel like that's a bit of a gamble. Oh, uh, what if we do this? And then just Mystic Shot this dude? Me? It's a play. I don't know if it's a great play, but it is a play. Ooh. So we still lose to Renegade Negation or uh, Pump Spell, The Fury of the North, Troll Chant, Renegade Negation, sure. So that's one more throw we have to deal with, but maybe they hit a flash bomb and we're looking chill. That's not bad. Oh baby, that's actually pretty decent. But we know that we have that coming up, so we don't care right now. We'll just take our Peacemaker. Sandra Stone. Okay. Do we have the flocker? What if they can get this to another thrall next turn? Ah, oh, Jeepers. Uh, it doesn't even kill her using flock. That's annoying. We could Mystic Shock flock. We'll just try to delay the thralls. We have a blocker for Lissandra next turn to make her weak to th flock. Brutal. Okay. Tribeam's getting there. I think we can... Hmm. 
I don't know. I don't think we have enough burn in our deck to do it quickly enough. If they have to play a curator or Talia, interesting. Um, so we could try to kill her off. Probably better to damage her than the Thrall. I feel like it's just going to take so much more work to kill the Thrall. We kind of have to rely on a Scorcher for that. I mean, kind of same thing with Talia though, right? Oh wow, really? I think we're going to take both those blocks, right? Hmm. Ice shard, sure. Do want everything, really? I was going to say, that's kind of interesting. They damaged the Talia that way. So Flock doesn't even kill her, if, even if he's in the six shot. Okay. I guess we could try beam. Is that ever worth it? Probably not. Okay, well they just gave us a free Ezreal. Now we can open with our try beam? Sure, sure. Deal six to a unit. So what's the biggest threat here? They have another throw coming next turn. Ah, oh, Jeepers, this is pretty bad, isn't it? So are we less worried about... Are we more worried about the Thralls here? Uh, I hope they don't have right Invocation. That'd be pretty bad. Oof, okay, second Talia. Oh wow, they don't even have, like board space too much really. This is tough, we need to hit something good here. Like a, a huge challenger, like Genevieve Al Elnhart. We can still kill Talia, or even Lissandra. Oh come on, really? That's so bad. We'll attack, we'll see what happens. We're gonna have another Thrall next turn, interestingly enough. Mm -hmm. Dang, the predicts are awful. Uh, I think we kinda kind of have to kill Lissandra here. Unfortunately, even our burn damage isn't doing much from Ezreal, because Lissandra's very tough. We have nine flash bombs actually. Oh, what the heck? Well, I'm throwing, aren't I? Oh my gosh, they have Star Spring. That's so brutal. That's absurd. That's absurd. I didn't even like think about that. That's so funny. Gosh darn it. Man, Thals is so annoying. <laughs> That's okay. You win some, you lose the rest. Alright, good games everybody. I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you next time. The dice in a pretty okay spot, but it just has some really tough matchups at the moment. Like, it slams on Aziorelia. Should kill Yasuo most of the time, right? Stuff like that, but... Thralls and Alawi decks are just so hard to beat, so... As much of a fun deck it is, it is kind of a not fantastic at the moment, so... Let me know what you guys think if you've been playing any fun deck lately, and I'll catch you next time!